All right, man, I wanted to talk about this because this is one of the most popular sayings I feel like in the barber industry. And um, I don't know how I feel about it, man. I don't know how I feel about it, but let's let's discuss it either way. But before we do, go ahead and smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, because we're about to get into this. So the topic of today's video is, would you rather have a bad fade with a good lineup or a bad lineup but a nice blurry fade? And most people will probably say they'd rather have a nice lineup and a bad fade. To me, I think that's kind of crazy. Let me explain. So there's a couple things. Like my hair is naturally higher on this side because I'm thinner on that side, right? And a lot of people be like, yo, whoever lined you up made it crooked. No. It's just after it was lined up nice and even, this side is gonna grow back slower than this side. So of course, it's gonna look crooked. But if I had this hairline right here and I had a blurry fade, I could get away with that. There is no getting away with this being straight and a messed up fade. And when I say a messed up fade, let me show you some examples. Think about it, guys. I don't understand why people believe this. Like I could see a moderate fade and a great lineup versus, but even then a moderate lineup with a great fade, I'm still taking that. Like, bro, you can't, you really can't get around this to me. Like this is, I don't care how crispy your lineup is. It doesn't matter. It don't matter. And I know this is not gonna be a popular opinion. All right, so you got a moderate fade here, crispy lineup. That fade is killing me though. Like I'm okay with just even this being, the lineup being natural and having a blurry fade, I'd rather that. Even if the lineup was natural and the fade was blurry, I'd rather that. No lineup, don't even line me up, bro. Give me a blurry fade. You know what I mean? Let's go back to some bad fades, man. Like, how you gonna get around that, bro? I don't care how crispy your lineup is. Like, obviously, when I talk about a bad fade, I'm not gonna show you guys this. I'm not gonna show y'all that. Because then that would be like saying a bad lineup is this. And that's just like, I definitely would rather have the bad fade if we're gonna compare these extremes. But I don't wanna do extremes because people walk around every single day with bad fades that are not this extreme or bad lineups that are not this extreme, all right? Like, that's a football, NFL football player <laughs> walking around with that fade. Like, see, this is extreme. I'm not gonna compare this fade. Like, people ain't walking around with that. But people are absolutely walking around with that fade right there. You know what I mean? To me, this would be the equivalent of like a moderate fade with a crispy lineup. Like it's it's too dark in this area for my liking, right in this area. But the lineup is crispy. I just feel like a fade takes up so much and it's so visible that if his lineup was like okay, but the fade was blurry as hell, the cut to me would look crazy. Let's see if I can find that type of example. And I know I can find that type of example because I see it all the time. Like even with, like on the academy, some of the members in the academy will do your haircuts, my feedback. And every once in a while, you'll see the blurriest fade with a lineup that could be a little crispier, but the cut still looks A1. You know what I mean? Like to me, this is kind of of an example, right? That's a pretty blurry fade. The lineup needs a little bit of work. Like it's a little bit of work. It's very natural. I don't know. It looks like he brought him up too high in the C cup area. Mm. But that's a clean cut, man. I don't know, I feel like I'd rather have that. The lineup will grow back pretty quick. If you got a fade like this, again, I don't wanna go extreme, but that's not growing back anytime soon. That's gonna look like that for a month at least. Like this fade right here is going to look bulky until it gets dark on the sides, which might take a month or longer. You know what I mean? I don't know. I know some of you guys are disagreeing with me right now. It's okay. We're mature enough to, to have disagreements and I would love to hear it in the comment section. Because to me, this is a controversial topic, especially coming from the angle I'm coming from. Most people will agree, nah, the lineup makes the cut. Uh, I don't think so, man. I tend to disagree with that. And I feel like that with like any texture of hair. I don't like this cut at all. Like, I don't like the shape of it. Look, it's like disconnected all through here, all the way up to this hairline. The fades like, some would say the lineup is sharp. I don't like the shape of the lineup, but it's sharp. 
But if the lineup was like this and the fade was really blurry and the shape was nice, it would be cool. But if the shape of this lineup was better, crispy just like it is now, and the fade or the cut looks like that, it's still a really bad looking cut in my opinion. Hopefully I'm strengthening my argument. <laughs> I feel like this is like somebody who cares about the lineup more than the haircut. I think straight. <laughs> this is like definitely one of one of the more popular haircut memes that have been been around, man. When I first saw this cut, I was like, damn. And this is a thing? I'm gonna look at this, this video to see if there's any examples I can find that might change my mind. Let's see. I've seen this. This is extreme, though. That's really bad. This was fake, though. Okay, this is realistic. Oh, he's lining himself up. Oh, he's just copying them. So fake. Hey, the fake blurry, though. All right, this is a stupid video. All right, this ain't it. All right, so his haircut, his lineup right now, to me, is not a good lineup, okay? It's higher here, it's lower here, and naturally, his hair's thin in this area. I probably wouldn't even cut that area down. Because if you do a number two, let's say, against the grain, in this area, it's always going to look shorter than the rest of it, all right? So I'll probably do like a three and a half or something first, and then maybe use some shears to kind of cut it down a little bit, or freehand it down, and then cut everything else a two against the grain, one and a half against the grain, whatever he has on top. But his hairline needs work. But you're gonna tell me, if he had a blurry fade, that haircut wouldn't look good? I think it would, if he had a blurry fade. The haircut is jacked up all together though. Yeah, you can see this left, this left corner here is leaning, this one's going up. I mean, look at this thumbnail. To me, this thumbnail right here with Gunther the Great, both of the hairlines are decent. Both of them are lined up decent. Look at the taper on the left. Look at the, the taper or the fade, whatever that is, on the right. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I know I'm making some of y'all mad. I'm just saying. All right, well, you know what? To summarize this, this is the truth. They both matter. They both matter a lot. I would say, in my opinion, it's harder to master a fade than it is to master a lineup, but I know that this is subjective. I know guys who have gotten good at fading, but it took them forever to be able to do a nice lineup. Most of the time, it's for fear of pushing somebody back, for fear of not understanding what a pushback is and what is it. Because we've watched so many different videos that can complicate things and make us overthink things and that's why i started that series is it a pushback i think it really depends on the severity of how bad it is like i was saying earlier man if it's a really jacked up fade like i'm talking about bowl cut terrible and the lineup is decent man that's a bad haircut i don't want it and and if the lineup is jacked up and the fade is blurry but your lineup is like this or back here they're both really, really bad, guys. They're both really, really bad. Depending on the severity of it, I think that the reason why most people would rather have a jacked up fade and a good lineup is because it's going to take a lot longer for a pushback, for example, or a lineup like this to be fixable, all right? If you got a jacked up fade, you can go to somebody else and get it fixed. It might become a higher fade than you want it, but they can make it blurry if you go to a good barber. You really can't do much about, right? And there are some, some solutions, there are some fixes to it, and I think that's what I wanna watch next. Let's check out this video of how people fix hairlines. All right, let's check out this video. Where did he save his hair? Mmm, I don't know if I like that. I feel like his hairline's a little further back than it needed to be. You guys see what I'm saying? It's hard to judge these type of cuts, man, unless you actually do the haircut. Like, a lot of people will judge my haircuts, and I'll be thinking to myself, like, the things that they'll say or the comments that people will make. I think to myself, man, if you tried that technique or if you tried what you think you could do on that person in real life, it won't come out to the, the outcome that you think it, it's going to come out to. You know, a lot of times there's, there's canvases, man, that you don't know till you cut it. Okay, let's watch this. Bro, where was the save? That nothing got saved there. What? Bro, go back, go back, go back. You could have just done a one against the grain 
or maybe a master's open against the grain to match the top up with this length right here give him a nice fade or something this man balded him out all that's not a save what is that what is this right here on the top of his head what is that <laughs> why oh my gosh he wasn't even bald man he wasn't even bald but ain't no way he's happy with that ain't no way he was happy with that who did that man who did that that's clean that's clean okay let's see what he gonna do here to me that ain't bad that's actually pretty clean the fade is clean the beard is clean you don't have to force the hairline you don't have to force the hairline, and it still looks decent now if the hairline was clean but the taper was jacked up would it look like he's trying too hard now he's gonna put a little bit of okay it's cool it's cool all right here we go see this is where my theory kind of go the window a little bit because i'm thinking it i'm thinking of it from a now perspective i'm also not thinking about pushbacks like I'm okay with a little bit of a crooked hairline, but if you're gonna push me back two inches like this guy, that's different. There's no, there's no blurry fade that's that's gonna make that okay. To me, that's a, there's a flag on the play there, right? Like as long as we, we're playing with some with, within some guidelines, I'm okay with a little bit of like a jagged hairline, maybe not completely crispy, um, but the fade's blurry. And I'd rather have that than a really crispy lineup, and the fade is okay. So I'd rather have the blurry fade in that instance. But if we talking about a bowl cut versus this, I'm taking the bowl cut. Cause the bowl cut, you can easily fix. Oh, this is game changer, I think. This is game changer. Shout out to game changer. Oh, you see, but at the same time, if game changer's my barber, I might be okay with the pushback cause he could fix me up. <laughs> hey, game changer, save that boy. Most barbers would have just, yo, you're gonna have to go down to a, a one and a half with the grain or something, one with the grain. We're gonna have to take it all down. Game changer, he said, nah, bro, I got you. That's crazy. Well done, man. Impressive. It's the anomalies that really mess up my whole argument. It messes up my whole argument. Uh, <laughs> ain't no blurry fade fixing this. Brought him back. All right, so here we go, my, my final argument. The truth is, it's gonna be hard to find a barber who who can give you a blurry fade, but is gonna push you back like this. If a barber can give you a blurry fade, the odds of them pushing you back like this is damn near impossible. It's like winning the lotto, okay? That's where my mindset was at until I started watching these videos. And then I started to realize why people say what they say, okay? But to find a barber who can give you a crispy lineup and an okay fade, you see those all the time. You see it all the time. It's not an anomaly. You see it all the time. So where am I going with, with this argument? I guess where I'm going with it is if you can do a blurry fades, my odds are higher that you're gonna give me at least a decent lineup. So I'm gonna go with the blurry fade barber. Where? You can give a crispy lineup, the odds are a lot higher that you're gonna give me an okay to even a bad fade. But at the end of the day, this is harder to fix than a bad fade is. All right, so finally, the question is, what's more important, the lineup or the fade? And if we're gonna go to the extremes, I'm gonna go with a lineup that's more important. But if we're going to use realistic measures, I'm gonna go with a blurry fade. Cause the odds of a barber that can give you a blurry fade, giving you at least a decent lineup, not one of these, at least a decent lineup are much higher than the odds of a barber that can give you a crispy lineup, giving you a good fade. There's my final argument. We're not going extreme, we're doing realistic day-to-day, -day, the majority situation. I'm gonna go with the blurry fade because I think that that barber can probably give me at least a decent lineup. All right guys, so that's the video for today, man. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know in the comments below what you think about my argument today. I know it was all over the place. I feel like, damn, man, this topic is much more complex than it seems. And I know it's it's gonna be super subjective in the comments below, but I just felt like it would be cool to give up the perspective from a barber um, who's been doing tutorials on YouTube for, for years, owned seven barber shops we had to close two because of the pandemic. And I just wanted to offer my perspective in this very popular argument that's been around for generations i think will continue to to be around this whole argument and it would be interesting to see other youtubers cover the topic and give their argument of which they prefer so what's more important the lineup or the fate i'll see you guys tomorrow because we drop daily content on this channel